Give him the 35-yard line with six seconds to go. Might not be a bad plan. Going to be a lot of rugby going on here. Take it short. Lateral. They practiced that on Wednesday. Time's going to expire on the game, so this either goes or it doesn't. Ball still alive. It's got to be a backwards lateral. Get behind it. Still alive. Duke doing a nice job staying, staying spacing all over. Oh, he got, they got a block. blockers. They got blockers. They've got a lane. 40 yard line. No black shirts between the goal line. Can you believe what you just saw? The ruling on the field is the touchdown. The play is under review. There are Duke players down. There are Miami players down. And they'll check each and every one of those laterals to make sure it was backwards. What an ending to this one. Duke drives down the field, scores with six seconds to go in the game to take the lead. Miami does the lateral play, goes all the way to the other end and scores, but a penalty flag is dropped for a block in the back. And now they're reviewing it. Will we have an untimed down? The penalty's on Miami. So the ACC officiating crew still looking this one over. And obviously they want to get it right. Yeah, it's a game-deciding play. And uh, we talked about the implications earlier. This can decide who gets into the ACC championship game later on this season. Boy, it's never over till it's over, huh? That's why they say it. One. The thing that was amazing was how both of these teams, you could tell, had practiced this and worked on it and really had it covered. And it wasn't until at the end that Miami was ready to break out. This is where was the knee down or not comes into question. Mm. Got an official standing right there looking at it. Said no. I'm counting the laterals and watching the referee who has just taken off the headset again. We're up to eight on the laterals. And he is calling. The other members of his officiating crew in from the far side to make sure everybody knows what he's about to announce. I'm sure. After review, there was never a need down by any of the runners of Miami. However, the, qu the blocking question was from the side, not from the back. It's a legal play, touchdown. Game is over. Hurricanes win. See that again. La Miles Brooks had him around the waist, pulling him to the ground. And that was just that was a phenomenal catch by Finn Hogan. Six. Watson threw it to the defense. Intercepted at the goal line, and then the ball comes out. And Georgia Tech pounces on it. Lance Austin with the interception. And there was just a miscommunication. Yeah, we've seen this. He's running an out route. Deshaun Watson's throwing a curl. It's going to be a turnover, an opportunity maybe to make Mike Williams miss. The fumble, that's a good call. Out in the field to play, back into the end zone. 
from the officials. On the field is the pass was intercepted, returned into the field of play, fumbled back into the end zone, recovered by the defensive team, safety. Wow. And I thought so. Yeah. I thought it was a possibility, and I think, I think that's... They're trying to get to those sticks. That's all that matters right there in that situation. Good job by Louisville to keep it alive. Pass the throw. What a catch. He held on. What a catch by Des Fitzpatrick. Third catch for Fitzpatrick might be the best of his life. And, he, and he, he's going to have control by securing it, tucking it on the helmet. Hello? Anyone home? Is anyone home? I can't get service. And he held on to it. And the roll. Yeah. Mitchell's going to try to run. The ball is tipped. It's intercepted by Duke. It's Edwards. Devon Edwards. A touchdown for Duke. For the Wolfpack. Thomas throws, and that's right to Duke. Edwards again. Second pick of the game. Second pick on as many plays. And Devon Edwards still on his feet. He'll take it in for his third touchdown of the game. He might do it. Wes, he's going to do it. Oh, my goodness, buddy, do it. Do it, do it. Touchdown. Oh, man, he's my favorite squirrel. Look at him. Oh, poor guy. He's tired. That's going to be a celebration. He's yeah. work on his celebration. Man, are you? They're bringing it right up the middle. Castellanos is flushed. Oh, he's in big trouble here. Trying to find something downfield. This is Fran Tarkinen-esque. Now he throws for Bond, and Whoa, he has him for the first my. down. Woo! Oh, first of all, good, good blitz pickup by the running back, but they, that was, this is all athleticism. I mean, this is Castellanos avoiding the... <laughs> it was 10. Yeah, I mean, you know, the officials are out there, and I'll tell you what, this is superb coaching but you got to do it all. Backward pass. Spawn looking to throw it. Is in deep trouble. Retreating. Now trying to create. Flips it over the middle. And the catch is made by Wilson. Wow. A lot happened there as Duke Spawn, the receiver, looked like a scrambling quarterback on the play. I, this is a great job here of improvising. And it's a heck of a job by the, the, the defense from LSU you see that they want to get that downfield it's taken away so now right there I thought he was dead somehow he keeps his play alive he gets away from Jones I thought he might run it but instead how about the athletic ability on the run throws an absolute Akers is the offset back who now motions to the right and they'll set up Cam with a scream trying to throw it back to his quarterback and oh now boy. does Hornibrook yeah. with the completion to Tamari and Terry Inside the 20 yard line. Not how they drew it up, Anthony, but they'll take it. I consider myself pretty good with football. I'm just going to let you watch this because I don't really know what you call this play. Throw it back. There's two defenders. What do you do to make you more of a Seattle person? Well, I don't carry an umbrella. Oh, and I play for the Storm. Didn't Sports Illustrator name you like the most underrated player in the NFL? They did, rightfully so. Wow. What would you do with a Stanley Cup? Take it up to Space Needle for sure. Well, this is weird. All right, I think that's good. Defender did not get an advantage with his hands. There's Wilson. Wilson looking for a seam. Still on his feet. And I'm not sure that's a good thing right now. Continuing to lose ground, and he's got a wave of blockers out there. Wilson out to the 35. What a run. Looking for more. Three receivers and a bunch to his right. And he is escaping for the moment. And still has it. And throws. Cobb. What a play by Brissett. And a touchdown for Jonathan Alston. David Wilson's the back. Taylor drifting, looking for space to run. Now he's in trouble. Stayed alive somehow and throws to the end zone. Touchdown! What a play! Oh. David Wilson! And what a jump! That's where they look. 
Taking a shot. Miracle by Miami! And in field goal range. And here's Cheney. The straight ahead. Tackled and the ball popped out. He's got to you know, read the clock. I mean, read the card. I mean, to and me. Georgia Tech has it with 26 seconds left. Kyle Kennard comes up with the fumble. You should not be running the football. I mean, it, it is. You should be taking a knee. As long as you milk it all the way down, you don't need to be doing this, and you certainly don't need to be fighting for extra yards. Singleton, the fastest of the receivers, to the top of the screen. Here's King from the pocket, flush to his right with six, five. Going to loop it downfield. That ball is caught. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. With one second to go in the ball game. Christian Leary hauls it in. They, the kicker's they, not they, on the they, field. They, they need a kicker. Surprised they're trying yeah. this. They do need a kicker. And they still have 18 on the play clock, but you saw Nick Skiba over practicing on the net. <laughs> Time for one quick breath. 37 yard attempt. He's six out of seven. But his longest make has been 35 yards. And he hooked it. Ball moved to the 28. Francois throws back to a wide open Dalvin Cook who collects it and dropped the ball before he crossed the goal line. Dalvin Cook drops it. Knowles keep it at the three. They're going to fake it and throw down the far sideline and caught. And a touchdown. The Jackets scores right by the defensive back who just falls asleep. Pass down the field. Nathan Cottrell catches it. Great catch on the sideline, and Miami is stunned. Spiffy Evans back deep to receive for Boston College. It's a fake. Not a fake punt. Then he's taken by Abdur Rahman, and he is free. Nobody knew he had the ball, but now he has the end zone. Jamal Abdur Rahman from 47 yards. They talked about snapping to the front man. If you see the first guy gets the snap, puts it on the ground, and now he's going to slip off to the left side, and then skate his way down to the field no one within five yards of him get to do something field position push him back put pressure on him now we're gonna set up to try one blair he's gonna throw it they got a fake and they got thomas wide open on the sidelines no signal now touchdown Done it to boot it away. And Micah Pittman bluffs it. Pokey Wilson picks it up. And Pokey Wilson past the 50. And Pokey Wilson in the plus territory. But the ball is punted to the right. Look at Pokey Wilson is looking for the football right now. This is designed. The coverage team is all coming down here. And here's Pokey Wilson where the football is. But everybody is chasing the returner who is Michael Pittman. That's a designed call by the special teams group of Florida State. It's perfectly executed. He said we went in there. Hey, I guess it's not hard beating Auburn anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez. Harris will take it in the end zone. Whoa. Wait a second. He just flipped it over there. Ahmad Harris just flipped the ball over and Clemson's recovered it. They catch the ball. They take it to another level right here and put six points on 25. What? Fair catches it after West. He, 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 he knew he was wrong as soon as he flipped it. Second and six. Boy, look out. Got away from one, and now whoa, that's a the ball, and it's in the midair, and this is going to be a touchdown for Breon Warner. The defensive end, the ball just slipped out of Boyd's hands, and it's an easy coast to the end zone for the defensive end of Florida State. Watch him do a great job of eluding Christian Jones, who comes unblocked. And right now, Taj Boyd is losing his balance, he's just got to eat that football. Another look. That is a lineman's dream. Touchdown.
It's a reverse, but retreating and dropped all the way back to the 40 is Travis. And the ball's out. A turnover for Florida State. A disastrous play. One play after they were given it is coming his way and aborts where he was headed and makes the play right there. And that's just a mis obviously a mistake by Jordan Travis, just throwing the ball up there. And how about the athletic ability? McLeod fields it. 40. Room for McLeod. Down the center of the field and into the end zone. The shoe came off, but McLeod and the ball ended up in the end zone. He steps in the end zone. Now they're going to take a look now. McLeod let the ball go right in. Does he still have it in his hands as he crosses the goal line? Boy, that is really close. I would say no. He doesn't have the ball in his hands as he goes over the crosses the inline, but I'm not sure that's definitive enough. It's a little bit of an angle. After review, it was determined that the player fumbled the ball prior to reaching the goal line. The defense recovered the ball in the end zone. The ruling is touchback, first down Troy.